does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again for another Game Crafter Spotlight, where I take a look at a different Game Crafter game every month and do some short videos spotlighting that game. And today, I'm very excited to be talking about Tinny Towns. This is for two to four players. Take about 30 minutes to play. We're going to be going over every single thing that fits inside this little tin right here. Yeah, it's quite a good deal of stuff. Now, the first thing I do want to mention is that when you get this, you're actually going to get this rule sheet right here, but it tells you how to unpack everything, how to how to pack everything back in the tin so it'll fit. You'll be able to figure that out pretty easily. But also that you cut this out and then that fits into here. So they really did think of everything. But let's go over the components. So first on the card side, everyone is going to get one of these double-sided scoring guides right here. Tons of information there. Love seeing those. We have the builder's market right here, which I assume is going to tell you what to do on your turn. And then on the back, we have a score sheet, which you do need a dry erase marker for, or you can photocopy. Uh, next, each player, it goes two to four players, is going to get two little meeples and two of these starting tiles right here. So we'll take a look at these little starting tiles. And the basic layout that you're going to see on the tiles is some text right at the top. So you can see that says waterfront, if I can zoom in. And then I believe this is how it's going to score, but I haven't actually played the game yet. And then right here, we have your city start, which has your, your very distinctive color on the top. So you'll be able to find that pretty easily. So everyone's going to get two of their little meeples. So they're going to get two of those. And then there's a ton of these tiles right here. When I say a ton, there's a lot. Like that is all of them. But these are the unique tiles in the game. We have the city parks. And hopefully I can zoom in a little bit so you can see those just a little bit clear. So right there we have the city park, the government, the mega mall, uh, co-op gardens, street fair, monument, city start, which is actually one of these, that one's not here, uh, residential, strip mall, public parks, waterfront, skyscraper, power plant, uh, and then once again you'll notice this is all on your little scoring card over here. So that's really stinking useful right there. Uh, next, we're going to get some of these tiles that'll be mixed in there. One says build to, one says travel, and one says relocate. And there's a, there's a few of those spread out through here as well. And then last but not least, you're going to get this black little pawn. And that is what you're going to be getting inside of Tinny Towns. And yes, when you get it, not everything is actually going to fit inside the tin. So you want to see exactly what it looks like when you unbox it. But with terrible camera quality, because I actually shot this video uh, a year and a half ago, and unfortunately I can't rebox it, then unbox it, uh, you can stick around for that. But that is Tinny Towns. If it looks like it might be your cup of tea, be sure to check out that Game Crafter link down below. Tom Byers Game Corner sent you. And if you enjoy what I'm doing, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers. And in the comments below, let me know. What is your favorite Mint Tin game of all time? I personally, I don't know if I've ever been just absolutely jaw-dropped by a Mint Tin game. Hopefully, Tinny Towns is the first one to do that. Uh, I can't speak to that yet, though. But I think I, I, I like the... Um, what is it? There's a worker placement mint tin one. I think I like that worker uh, mint placement. I think is my favorite mint tin game right now. But if you get on Game Crafter, you can create your own mint tin game. And who knows? It might be the one I'm talking about in a future video. Yeah, I know. Check it out. Uh, but as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.